Well, tonight, Utah Congressman Ben McAdams is focusing his efforts on the suicide risk of our veterans. News Specialist Jed Bull joined us live right now with how the new bill would allow researchers to further explore a connection between living at altitude and being at risk for suicide. Jed? Yeah, Mike, for several decades, researchers have observed a heightened rate of suicide in Utah and also the Rocky Mountain West. They've also studied a link between living at high altitude and a higher risk for suicide. Researchers from the VA and the University of Utah joined Representative McAdams today to talk about the legislation. They say higher rates of suicide have been associated with living at higher elevation and the risk is even higher in the veteran population. They hypothesize that lower oxygen levels at higher altitude increase the risk for suicide. Under under the VA High Altitude and Suicide Research Act, they will begin unprecedented research in this area and ideally develop new treatments. As a corpsman in the Navy, Chris Gaynor served in Iraq and treated a lot of trauma. Two months after returning home, he started to think about taking his own life. Now, living nearly a mile above sea level, he understands he may be compounding his risk for suicide, so he plans to move. I reduce my alcohol because that's a risk factor. And now in order for me to be able to progress in my career and to ensure my long-term life, it's going to be best for me to get to a lower altitude, and that's what I'm choosing to do. There are numerous factors that go into uh, risk of death by suicide. We want to understand what those factors are because the more we understand it, the more we can bring uh, solutions that will reduce the risk. This bipartisan legislation could be signed by the president as early as this week and would provide for a three-year study. Congress passed this legislation as part of a package of bills aimed at improving mental health for veterans and also providing the VA more support for dealing with suicide issues. For Live at 5, I'm Jed Bowl. Jed, thank you. And if you or somebody you know is struggling with thoughts of self-harm, Help is always available at the Suicide Hotline. That number on your screen right there, 1-800-273-8255.